This Mother's Day is going to be extra special for a Polk County family thanks to a very special reunion. It has been nearly three years now since deportation split the family apart. Our Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva shows us their journey. A new president meant a new chance at reuniting a Polk County family. That's happening here this weekend. Congressman Darren Soto remembers the heartbreak of this August day in 2018. To see them ripped apart was just, it was just heart wrenching to say the least. Alejandra Juarez was deported to Mexico. She spent 20 years in America, undocumented and mostly out of trouble. After a traffic ticket in 2013, her humanitarian parole status continued until the Trump administration. It was revoked uh, under the zero tolerance policy. We saw them. Uh, deport her, and now she's back. But this represents long-time American values, which is we have some discretion. Congressman Soto represents parts of Northeast Polk County where Juarez and her family lived. Juarez's husband is a naturalized citizen and retired Marine. Alejandra, military mom, stayed at home taking care of their two citizen daughters. News just this week. She's been granted humanitarian parole again and will be home in time for Mother's Day. And just waiting with the uncertainty of whether or not she'd ever get back to see her family. And uh, so our staff was near tears this week, uh, knowing that uh, Alejandra's coming home to her family. It's only temporary and things could change, but this Mother's Day, this mom will be with her kids. It's expected you'll be hearing more from the Juarez family next week. Congressman Soto's office is planning a press conference with the family next Wednesday. Reporting in Polk County, I'm Stacey De Silva, 8 on your side.